Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, Pastor. Father John Broby, Associate Pastor. We offer this Mass for Frank Rizzi. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us in a moment of silence call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our hearts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. Now you are Christ's body and individually parts of it. Some people God has designated in the church to be first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then mighty deeds, then gifts of healing, assistance, administration, and varieties of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work mighty deeds? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, his we are, his people, the flock he tends. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. For he is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus journeyed to a city called Nam, and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. A large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he was moved with pity for her and said to her, Do not weep. He stepped forward and touched the coffin. At this, the bearer halted. And, the, and he said, Young man, I tell you, arise. The dead man sat up and began to speak. And Jesus gave him to his mother. 
Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, exclaiming, A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. This report about him spread through the whole of Judea and in all the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good. And all the time, the devil is bad. And all the time, Luke chapter 7, verse 11 to 17. It is the gospel of two processions. I take that again. Luke chapter 7, verse 11 to 17. It is the gospel of two processions. There is the procession of death, which is exiting the city of Nain. And there is the procession of life, which is entering the city of Nain. And so life and death have met at the outskirts of name and life overpowers death. My dear people of God, the day you accepted Christ, you joined the procession of life. And once you joined the procession of life, you are certain that death cannot have the final word. As the procession of death represented in a young man, not an old man, he's a young man, but he died. And as they were carrying him in a procession to the place of burial, Jesus was also on his way, leading the procession of life to enter the city of Nain. And as they met, Jesus touches the casket and the people start. And he said to the young man, young man, rise. When you follow the procession of life, you have life after death. When you follow the procession of death, you have death after life. Are we on the same page? When you follow Jesus, your true life begins after your death. And that is why you have life after death. When you follow the procession of death, which is the things of this world, and all your trust is about this world, about everything happening around you, your true death happens after this life. And so you have death after life. For those of us, my dearly beloved, who have embraced Jesus, and who have dedicated our time morning, afternoon, and evening to receive the body and blood of Christ. Our true life, my dear people of God, will begin after our death. Let us not give up because death will not have the final word. Shall we rise in prayer? For all members of the church, may the Lord help our devotion to Him in the Eucharist bear good fruit in service to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may they be blessed with God's wisdom in policy making and governing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are mourning the loss of a loved one, May God fill them with his consolation and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, to hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may we grow in the gifts of the Holy Spirit to help build God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Frank and all who have died, may God's love and mercy surround them and bring them to his everlasting kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers that are in the depths of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. For the grace to persevere in the procession of life, let us ask our Mother Mary to intercede on our behalf as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we make all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for thus is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of church, Julia Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Frank, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united to your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who are pleased throughout the ages, we be married to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in each of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and each in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And your mighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Have a wonderful day. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.